Hey there, what's going on? My name is Basir Painda. Welcome to the ninth project of 100 web project series. And in this video, we are going to create this animated side nav from scratch using only HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. This can go full width from left to the right, top to the bottom, right to the left, or even from bottom to the top. All right, so without any further ado, let's dive right into it. I'm gonna create this nav with an ID of nav and this is going to be right here. It contains a button with an ID of close-nav and this HTML entity which is eventually going to create that cross sign for us. All right, I'm going to create these dead links here, duplicate them. This is home and this one about and then portfolio and right here this is going to be the contact. All right, and now time to create the markup of this content right here. So this is going to have an ID of content uh, with an H1 lorem ipsum, then some dummy content here, and finally a button with an ID of toggle dash nav. Okay, toggle nav, there we go. And now if I run this in live server, this is how it is going to look. Back into style.css, I already created this font family for the body. Now I'm going to grab that nav right there. Uh, which is going to have a position of fix so that it always stays in place whenever we are scrolling the page from the top that is zero from the left is also zero it's going to have a minimum height of 100 vertical height and a width of like 320 pixels and uh, then a background color for this background color uh, which is this dark color there now let me save that okay and now for this nav anchor tags or all the links that are inside there get rid of that text decoration to none add a color it's going to be slightly muted color right there uh, display them as block and also from here right at the top i'm going to add a padding top of like at least three rim there we go and make sure to add a padding of at least like 0.75 rim and one rim there we go and uh, for this button to position it right at here top right side and we're going to grab that close dash nav there we go back into index.html this is close nav uh, which is actually that button which will uh, close this nav right here all right so position this absolute from the top that is zero from right that is one name it's positioned at right place there remove the background color of that it's transparent and increase the phone size to something like tree rim and add the color which is that muted color which we added earlier and that is this triple a right here there we go and also get rid of that outline and border Okay, so this is how it is going to look. Make sure to increase the font size of these as well. So I'm going to bump them up to um, font size to 2.5 rim. Text transform this to uppercase. And now it kind of looks better. I'm going to actually go with 2 rim. There we go. So this is how it is going to look. Let's add a hover effect for these two. So when it's hovered over, then I'm going to add this white color. Now if I hover over them, you see that white color is being added to them. And for this one, it's not yet... Uh, hovered so for that close close nav there I'm gonna add the same color where we added that earlier in fact you know what I'm gonna actually cut it off from there and then right here this is close nav so just paste it right there get rid of this so now that looks better if I hover over them including this one it's gonna look good and as a final step let's add this cursor of pointer to that we just created this side nav right here and now I believe it is the time for the content so this content right there, first I'm going to add this width of uh, zero actually and comment this out. This is going to be zero pixels so we can see what's going on in the content. Obviously you need to remove the overflow of hidden from there as well. So now they are gone. And for this content there is nothing fancy here. It's going to have a padding of like at least uh, one rim and that maybe you want to increase its phone size to 1.5 rim. And that is it, all fit. And for the toggle dash nav, which I believe it's toggle nav, yes it is. So I'm going to just copy that out to make sure I'm making no spelling mistake. Now right here, I'm going to just add a padding for this 0.5 rim and 1 rim. And also increase the phone size to 1.5 rim. There we go. So this is how it is all going to look. Now in order to add an active class for this nav, so when I'm triggering and clicking on this toggle nav, we want this nav to, sh to be shown. Now you can see the width of it is 0 pixels. So if I add this 320 pixels, it's going to show up like if I save it there we go you can see that right so when this nav is active which I'm going to first copy that out and all the way down up until here I'm going to paste it nav.active it's going to have a width of 320 pixels there we go now I'm going to go back in here and get rid of that width now it is only zero pixels okay so we're going to handle this through JavaScript 
What else do we need is also to add this active class for the content as well. Content and then add that active class. It's going to have this margin lift that is going to be exactly identical to what you added right here. So the width of this nav is 320 pixels. So I'm just going to add it right here. So that's 320 pixels. And also make sure to add a transition for this content as well. It's going to be for margin dash lift there, 0.3 seconds, is in and out like so. And also add the same transition for this nav right here. And this transition is going to be for the width. So I'm going to copy that out and paste it right here. All right, so now time for the JavaScript. So I'm going to go to JavaScript and grab this toggle nav, the content and all these IDs actually. So this is toggle button that is document dot get element by ID. That's toggle dash nav. There we go. So we're going to hook an event listener to that. This is toggle button dot add event listener on click. We want to run this open nav function. So I'm going to create that open nav function right here. There we go. So what it's going to do is that it's going to open this nav or add the class of active to that. So if it, uh, it adds the class of active, its weight is going to be 320 pixels. So first I'm going to grab that nav that's equal to document dot get element by ID of that nav right there. Okay. So when, when I'm clicking on this toggle button, it's going to grab that nav from there and then dot class list dot add that class of active. Right, so now if I just click that, you can see it smoothly shows up like that. And now to make this close button work, I'm gonna grab that close button, which is called close nav, actually. So copy that out. And again, const of close underscore button that's equal to document dot get element by ID of close nav. So there we go. Now let's duplicate this one more time and replace it with close button on click. This time I'm going to close this nav. So if I close that nav, it's going to remove this class from the active class right there. So duplicate it, copy that out and paste it here. And this time instead of add, it's going to be remove. There we go. Now if I click toggle nav, it's going to show up and I click that back, it's going to go away. All right, now for this content right here, if you want to push this like that, there is this nice effect right here, which you can do. First, you're going to grab the content, which has this ID of content. And then right here, I'm going to grab that content document dot get element by id that's the content right there and all the way down up until here i'm going to add that class of active which we added earlier so you can guess that this active class is going to add this margin lift of 320 pixels and since we added this transition it's going to smoothly show up so now for the content i'm going to just grab that content dot class list dot add the class of active there we go, duplicate it and add it here. But this time in the close nav, we are going to remove that. All right, so if I hit that out, you can see this is how it is all going to look. And if I close that, you see that? Okay, as a final step, in order to add that kind of background color, if you just notice here, you see that the background color is kind of uh, dark. So how do we add that? First, I'm going to grab the body, document.body.class list. I believe I didn't add that class too, so I'm going to add that real quick. So here it is. I'm going to add that class of dark there. And when I'm clicking on this close nav, then it's going to remove that dark class from the body. So back into style.css all the way up until here. I'm going to add that class of dark there, which is going to have this background color. So RGBA and 0, 0, 0, 0 0.3. Ah, guys, excuse me for that sound. Okay, so body.dark. Well, now if I just go back here, I'll make sure to save it first. And then if I click that, you see how it's going to look. And then if you want this to disappear, there is one more way you can do that, right? At this place, this.style.display that's equal to none. And then when it's closed, you may want this to show like block there. Now, if I click that, there it is. And if I close it, um, it's not shown. Yep, it's not supposed to be this this time. It's actually this toggle nav right there. So I'm going to copy that out and paste it right here. Now, if I click that, and close it, it's going to show up. And we just did the first part of it. Now for the rest of it, in order to make this one to slide from left to the right, and it should be full width. What you can do for that is that uh, you need to go to style.css and all the way up until here. This width is going to be 100%. It's going to take the entire screen. Okay, so I'm going to close that off, toggle nav. This is how it's going to look. So to position them right at the center right here, what you can do is to actually, here is the nav. I'm going to add this display of flicks. Then justify content center, align items center, and save it. This is how they are going to look. So just uh, there is one more line of code, flex direction, column, 
Now they should be stacked on top of each other and it is right at the center. You may notice that still it is not center because of this padding top that we added earlier. So if I remove that and save it, now you can see it's right at the center and you're welcome to increase its font size too. To make this uh, toggle from the top side to the bottom to slide that way, this is going to be with the width. So I'm going to add this 100% for the width there. So it's going to be 100% for the width. And uh, for the height, this is going to be, where is the height? There it is. So it's going to be like zero, get rid of this minimum height from there. And when it is active, you may want to add that height of 100 vertical height for this. Okay, so I'm going to comment that out again. And then it is 100 vertical height. There we go. And now if I just close that and click that, okay, it's it's not showing as expected. So because this transition is for the width and not for the height. Now, if I just close that off and hit that, there it is. This is how it is all gonna look, okay? You may also want to remove these active class from the content as well, which here I'm gonna comment them out. That is it. Now save it and back to style the CSS. Now, if I click a toggle nav right here, so if I click that, it's gonna show up like this from top to the bottom. And to make this from right to the left, Again, what you can do is I'm going to slide this from bottom to the top as well, then I'll show you the rest of it. So if I change this to the bottom and save it, then now if I click that, this is it. So it's going to show up from bottom to the top and back into here. Just to slide this from right to the left, I'm going to have to do everything reverse. Uh, so this is now a 100 vertical height and this width is going to be like zero person. And also this transition will be for the, for the width. Oops, actually width right there and all the way up until here let's just comment this out and, and comment this one all right so save it now if i go back and toggle that nav there we go uh, well still that is not showing up well this is supposed to be from right it is zero now if i just go back here and hit it this is how it is all gonna look all right everybody so that was it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and if you did don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in the next one